Words wield a transformative power, an ability so profound that they sculpt our perceptions, sway our emotions, and bridge the gaps between us. When spoken, these syllables and sounds take on an extraordinary force, capable of either constructing dreams or dismantling hopes. Sadly, our era has witnessed a glaring misuse of this potent tool, often overlooked as one of humanity's most enchanting gifts. In the beginning was the Word, a renowned biblical phrase, not only holds religious significance but also underscores a universal truth. Everything initiates from a single utterance. Words, formed from unique vibrations and frequencies, are the architects crafting the fabric of our existence. They are the tools through which thoughts crystallize into tangible reality. This notion is echoed historically, as seen in the biblical depiction, where God's command, let there be light, birthed light, into existence. This narrative illuminates a key insight. Our words and thoughts, the artisans of our world, should be wielded with deliberate intent to sculpt a reality that resonates with our highest aspirations. Yet, in our societal conversations, we often find ourselves amplifying our woes and tribulations, unwittingly breathing life into negative perceptions. When we vocalize our frustrations or discontent, we are not merely expressing thoughts, we are etching them into the canvas of reality. This repetitive verbalization not only solidifies these notions in our own minds, but also imprints them onto the consciousness of our listeners. With this understanding, it becomes imperative to introspect. Do we really wish to affirm a reality of misfortune, dissatisfaction, or stagnation? The revelation here is clear. By consciously selecting our words, we can begin to reshape our narrative. It is in this mindful articulation where our true power lies. Avoiding disempowering language such as can't, shouldn't, need, or won't is crucial as they restrict our capacity to manifest the life we envision. As the creators of our universe, our words have dominion. In moments of negativity, seize the opportunity to reframe your language, infusing it with positivity and potential. For example, transform the self-defeating I'm unhealthy and overweight to an empowering I am on a journey towards better health, moving closer each day to my ideal well-being. In this way, our words become the palette with which we paint our existence, choosing shades that reflect optimism and hope. Neville Goddard's wisdom encapsulates this concept beautifully. He posits that God and human imagination are one, implying that our external world is a manifestation of our internal consciousness. He challenges us to shift our belief from an external God to finding divinity within, underscoring the idea that the law of attraction might falter if we perceive our desires as distant. Instead, realizing that we are inseparable from the universe, we can't merely reach for our desires. We must embrace and embody them. If our imagination molds our reality, it is bound to align with our will. In essence, the world around us is a reflection of our inner beliefs and state of being, a powerful reminder of the creative potential that lies in our words and thoughts. However, this transformative power of imagination and will aligns only when we embrace the concept of assumption. As Goddard suggests, we should navigate life as though our desires are already part of our current tangible experience. Our senses may contradict this notion, but with persistence, what once resided solely in our imagination will solidify into reality. This is the moment when our internal beliefs and the external world harmoniously converge, transforming our dreams into tangible experiences. The power of positive spoken words, especially in the form of affirmations, cannot be overstated. When we affirm ourselves with statements of capability, strength and resilience, these words not only boost our self-esteem, but also propel us towards our aspirations. 
Conversely, negative self-talk can cement self-doubt and obstruct personal development. Affirmations are thus a potent and straightforward method to employ the strength of spoken words in manifesting favorable changes in our lives. Who am I? This question begins with the two most potent words. I am. These words, seemingly simple, are perhaps the most significant in our lexicon. The way we complete the phrase, I am, fundamentally defines our self-perception and how others perceive us. Whether we say, I am unconfident, shy, or I am radiant, successful, we are actively crafting our reality. The veracity of these statements is secondary to the power they hold in shaping our existence. Therefore, choosing a higher expression for ourselves is essential. Every morning, start with a positive affirmation beginning with, I am, setting the tone for self-empowerment and aspiration. Often, when we complain, express anxiety or use hurtful words, it stems from underlying fear. The key to overcoming this is to become more self-aware of our word choices. Before speaking out of fear or frustration, we should ask ourselves, why am I saying this and how does it contribute to my happiness? These reflections help us understand that voicing fears often reinforces them rather than alleviating them. Thus, choosing words that are intentional, compassionate and rooted in self-love is vital. Our words are not merely reflections of our thoughts, they are windows into our inner state. They offer insight into our true selves and signal to both our subconscious mind and the world around us. By adopting a loving, compassionate internal dialogue, we lay the groundwork for manifesting the best version of ourselves. This consistent alignment with love leads to positive outcomes, both internally and externally. The ripple effect of our spoken words extends beyond personal experience, influencing the collective consciousness and impacting others' lives. The law of assumption, when applied universally, can significantly alter societal perspectives and realities. For instance, conversations about financial challenges often focus on scarcity and limitations, while discussions in prosperous circles revolve around abundance and growth. Both are valid human experiences, but the words we choose shape our perception of these experiences. To effect positive change in our lives, refining our inner conversation is crucial. By altering how we speak and live within our inner world, we can swiftly transform our external reality. Our words reveal much about our inner state and act as announcements to the world and our subconscious. Thus, aligning our internal dialogue with love and compassion is not just a choice but a necessity, for it molds our external communication and helps manifest the ideal version of ourselves over time. This harmonious union with love unfailingly cultivates joyful and beneficial outcomes. Words transcend mere expression. They are the mirrors reflecting our deepest beliefs and emotions, wielding the power to significantly sculpt our reality. To grasp their influence, one need only observe the dialogues of individuals around them. Their experiences often mirror their spoken words vividly. Echoing the words of Hermes Trismegistus, man is bestowed with speech and mind, equating him with immortals. This profound truth reveals the eternal essence of our words. They linger in the ether, gathering momentum within the collective consciousness. Their impact isn't confined to the here and now, it stretches into realms uncharted. Hermeticism, a philosophy linked to the legendary Hermes Trismegistus, delves deep into the law of assumption through texts like the Kybalion. This ancient wisdom spotlights the principle of mentalism the concept that everything is mental and the universe is akin to a great mind. Here, assumptions are the mental bricks building our reality. The Kybalion teaches that our beliefs and assumptions sculpt our experiences, highlighting the need to cultivate positive and constructive assumptions to attract desired outcomes. 
In ancient Egypt, Mayat symbolized the universe's intrinsic order, encompassing truth, balance, and harmony. Adhering to Mayat's teachings meant that one's actions and assumptions, in harmony with cosmic order, could lead to a life of greater balance and fulfillment. The ancient Egyptians understood that our thoughts and assumptions are pivotal in crafting a life in tune with the universal order. Tibetan Buddhism offers insights into the profound interplay between the mind and the external world. According to this philosophy, our reality is a product of our mind. Our perceptions and assumptions mold the world we perceive. By altering our mental landscape, we can transform our lived experience. Tibetan wisdom encourages us to scrutinize our assumptions, recognize their influence, and consciously reshape them, thus gaining control over our reality and manifesting desired circumstances. Incorporating these ancient teachings into our modern existence means acknowledging the profound impact our assumptions have on our experiences. By aligning our beliefs and assumptions with our ambitions, we can leverage the law of assumption to manifest the reality we seek. Whether you resonate with Hermeticism, Hinduism, or other ancient traditions, the key lies in recognizing your mind's extraordinary ability to shape your world. In doing so, you embark on a transformative journey to create a life that resonates with your deepest desires and the universal order. Understand this. You are at one with the universe. Your imagination is divine. Your desires are within reach. It may take time to retrain your subconscious to believe in these truths, but as Neville Goddard teaches, this is the first step in activating the law of assumption in your life. Practice believing that your deepest wishes are already realized. Cultivate unwavering faith in the universe and in yourself. Walk through the world with confidence and gratitude, knowing that the outer world, as an extension of yourself, will inevitably manifest your will. Soon you'll discover your true power, manifesting faith through action and freedom through feeling. Let the universe be a splendid reflection of your boundless imagination. In wrapping up, our exploration today underscores the remarkable power of words in shaping our reality. We've delved into ancient wisdom and modern philosophies, all pointing to a fundamental truth. Our words and thoughts are potent tools in crafting the life we desire. Embrace the power of I am. These simple words are key to transforming self-perception and reality. Positive affirmations and a shift in our internal dialogue can lead us toward a more fulfilling life. By aligning our words with our aspirations, we not only transform our own experiences but also contribute to a positive collective reality. Remember, the words you choose are a reflection of your inner world, and by changing your words, you have the power to change your life. But before you go, I advise you not to miss our latest video that talks about a forbidden practice that can immediately bring abundance into your life.